huge masses took the streets in a march this afternoon, Friday 31st of August 2012, at the west of the capital Manama, demanding liberty and democracy. This massive march takes place days before the Geneva UN Human Rights Council session in mid-September 2012, where the situation of human rights in Bahrain will be discussed among the Universal Periodic Review Sessions, revengeful human rights violations perpetrated by the regime against pro-democracy activists will be revealed. The opposition in Bahrain is back to streets with its huge pro-democracy masses, which were continuously organized since the revolution erupted. These masses have broken the more than two months official decision of banning such huge marches. Today's march was big enough to fill all over the two sides of the march route between Jannusan and Sar, with an active participation of women, men from all sectors and age groups. The national flags were waved and chants were emphasizing on the popular legitimate pro-democracy demands raised by the Bahraini people since February 14, 2011. Protesters also demanded the fall down of the current government and elect another in which the will of people is politically represented. After two months of arbitrary ban for the peaceful pro-democracy demonstrations, people of Bahrain very extensively participated in today's march regardless of their different political backgrounds. For more than 18 months, and still, they are steadily struggling to realize a real democratic transition in Bahrain. Some protesters were holding pro-democracy signs and pictures of the detained political figures. Kids, women, among hundreds of prisoners of conscience, demanding for their immediate release. In the final communique, of liberty and democracy mass rally. The opposition emphasized on its refusal for any kind of dictation imposed from any side. The opposition societies stated that they have the absolute right to organize peaceful demonstrations in all areas of Bahrain, including the capital Manama. They stressed on the Manama document principles that the people own the exclusive right to write their democratic constitution in which the freely elected legislative authority exclusively has full supervisory and lawmaking privileges along with an elected government that fairly represents the will of the people, the just electoral constituencies, the independent judiciary and security that should be provided for all the people in Bahrain. These are the basic rights for any pro-democracy people who look for freedom, dignity, social justice and a civilized democratic state.